JJ Balaya is someone who is known for his unabashed celebration of luxury and heritage and his latest collection has created quite a stir in the capital and to know more about that I'm here with the noted designer himself Hi JJ and welcome to the show Thank you So JJ the home of the traveler is a carefully curated collection of artifacts which are representative of ancient dynasties So what was the main pillar of thought behind actually organizing this exhibition Well you know I think it all emanates from the fact that as a brand we are a luxury brand and it we primarily dealing in couture and apparel uh, but while our home forms a very big segment um, and in the years to follow we're planning to grow that to a scale which is much larger I I've always had a sort of passion for all things which have a distinct sense of history and culture and I think it would be very unfair to sort of just say okay no we are not we are not really going to we only going to look at them but we obviously can't brand them or create them so the best thing is to actually source them and source the rarest of pieces from places where typically a tourist going there would never see anything like this so we've actually gone into uh the interiors of every country and then picked up uh pieces which are absolutely breathtaking. Well this is a very interesting mix and each image actually conjures up a romantic vision. But if I were to ask you which is your personal favorite from this collection? Well, you know this is a tough one because for simple reason when you hand pick each piece they're all special and it's one of those cliched sort of answers they're all like my children and how can I play favorites everything but I mean having said that this would certainly qualify as perhaps one of the most dramatic pieces here and also my favorite also a throne which is very interesting because i always have to think for royalty with some yes. but this is a throne of buddha and it is from myanmar and it's you know uh, it is it is something which is so rare and how i got this piece <laughs> how i got this piece out from that person only i know I'm so sure it's, it's just one of those that. things yes absolutely JJ I can see each piece is absolutely unique but what do you think these pieces offer to the Indian consumer I can assure you 90% of the product here you will not get a second anywhere so I feel that there's a lot of history and culture in terms of you know non branded products which can never be replicated which complete the picture so we're going to miss all this so the idea is to try and retain what we have so interestingly 90 no at least 70% of these pieces mm -hmm. have found their place in very very modern homes of young people who are who are sort of now you know the future so what's going to happen invariably is the whole sort of idea of combining old and new the rough with the smooth is sinking in beautifully and you're in a way ensuring and assuring that history continues and you're not just letting go and forgetting about it so how would you define this collection is it a confluence of the past and the present or it's a showcase of luxury and beauty what would you be your definition well these are pieces which are certainly of a certain scale as you can see they're large pieces and some of them are statement pieces yeah. absolutely statement all of them are pieces that you want to stand in front of look at and kind of imbibe as much as you can at the same time they're historically totally charged and uh, what makes it even more unique is that it's unlikely that you will find a second like it so i think all in all this is something that really um for me if i had uh, if i had a house large enough this would have all gone there <laughs> so what is next on the cards from the, the house of alaya when the travel continues so we've begun with siam and the next one is turkey in about 3 or 4 months and thereafter it's russia and um I mean, actually it's endless. Do you think that the Indian connoisseur is ready for this explosion of creativity? I think the east is a new west, you know, if you look at it. And um the appetite for luxury and especially for unique luxury in this country today is probably one of amongst the highest in the world. The Indian connoisseur today is in, in, as good as an international connoisseur. So well traveled. Very well traveled, very well read, has seen everything in the world, is respected suddenly and revered even if you go kind of globally, they're kind of looking at uh the indian buyers one of the key buyers what well, i'm sure that the house of alaya has a lot to offer to the indian connoisseur and the indian connoisseurs have a lot to look forward to thank you so much for being with us today you thank you thank you very much ndtv's cricket app android and iphone faster score card special analysis and much more download free ndtv.com/apps